creating a group and scheduling a group through FlexiSketch, I begin on my dashboard and move over to the column that says list on the side hand. I move down to the bottom where it says group list and click on the name. This will bring up all the different groups that we have scheduled throughout of our school. You'll notice that there are a number of different pages that you can move to that have different groups and all the groups are sorted alphabetically. If I haven't created a group yet and I'd like to create a new one, I move to this little plus button in the bottom right hand corner and click on it. This will allow me to create a group and I begin by naming it what I'd like to. After naming my group, I need to select the students that are going to be involved. I can search through last name or first names to find the students that I'm looking for. And if I'd like to add them to my group, I check the little box in the Add to Group column. After adding this student, I can erase and move to the next student that I'd like to add. After adding all the students to my group that I would like, I can click the Save button. Clicking the Save button will take me back to the main page where the group lists are. Again, these are arranged alphabetically, so if I move to alphabetically where my name would fall, I'll find my group name. Now if I'd like to check to make sure that the students are in this that I would like, I click on the little pencil button and it allows me to edit my group. At the top you'll see right away that I have two students in my group underneath my name and then it sorts out the students that I've selected based on the students that I checked the box to add to group. So as you can see I selected the two students that I picked earlier when I created the group and it shows those two students right at the top since they were added to my group. If everything looks okay, I'll click the Save button. And again, it'll take me back to the home page of Groups. If I'd like to schedule my group for a class that I have or an offering that I have, I find my group name. And then this third button on the side will say Schedule Group for the group name that I have. Now I'd like to schedule my students for my class I decide the day that I'd like to schedule them on. I select the win period. And I'll select the class that I have on that day. My class would be under my name. And I'm not going to select this as a teacher request. I'd like this to be a group request where the students are invited, but they have the option of being able to change for. So a teacher could override this. The students cannot override a group request on their own but another teacher could take my student out if they needed to. I can also only schedule a group one day at a time, as you can see, Monday through Friday. If I'd want to select them for multiple days, I would go through this step multiple times based on the dates that I'd like to schedule them for. After I've finished scheduling for this day, Monday, for my math class, I'll click Save. And a little warning will pop up to the top telling me that I've scheduled those two members to my group class. If I'd like to check their schedules to make sure, I'll go back to the dashboard, I'll go back to the yellow schedule button, and I'll search one of the student names. You'll notice that on Monday they're scheduled for my class, and there's a little green logo. Those green logos signify that he's been, been asked to join a group for this class, and that I've specifically picked him and other students. Again, this can be overrided by a teacher request if another teacher would like to have him or, or her in her class. This was scheduling and creating groups through FlexiSketch.